Hey guys, Fortuna here. I wanted to do a review today on the new discs that have come out. Unfortunately, the only one that I don't have is the Culverin. Um, that has not come in from Dynamic yet. Um, they messed up my order, unfortunately. Um, but it is going to be here within the week. I do have a couple other buddies that seem to really like the disc. Um, it's fairly similar to a couple other modes from what they have told me, but I have not personally thrown it, so I'm not exactly sure how it flies. Um, anyways, I wanted to tell you about uh, the ballistas, the cutlasses, and then the compasses. And then I was able to order um, more than a handful of these Gripline Pures. And these discs I really like. Um, I can start talking to this uh, about this a little bit to, for you. Um, so a lot of people really, really like the Pure. And then a lot of people seem to really like the Gripline Plastic. I myself really, really enjoyed it. Um, the first disc that I owned in that plastic was a Gripline Spike. When I first got picked up by Latitude, I had a buddy who had a handful of Latitude discs that he let me try out, the Spike being one of them. Um, unfortunately, I don't throw it anymore. It doesn't fly how it used to for me. Um, I ended up getting an ace with it, and then I just retired it. Um, I don't normally throw a disc that I've aced with. Um, I don't know why. It's just something that as soon as I ace with it, I just retire it because the fear of losing it. Uh, I've lost a handful of ace discs, and... Personally, just for sentimental value, I like to keep them. Um, anyways, so when I heard about these coming out, I was really excited to get it. Um, before, I didn't really bag the Pure. Uh, I bagged uh, a couple other throwing putters, which are still in my bag. But this one is different enough that I do bag it. Um, this is a very grippy plastic, uh, for those who don't know. Um, it feels similar to Star Plastic. It's the... Um, it's the plastic before gold line. Um, there was there was like an inconsistency with the plastic uh, to where they, I don't know, they just they stopped producing it uh, is what I'm trying to say, and then they started creating gold line. So this was before that plastic. Um, so for their 10 year anniversary, they did the pure in this plastic. I'm not sure how many that they made, but it seems like they sold out of them pretty fast. There are a few purple ones still on the website, but. I was able to get uh, 11 of these. I had a couple of friends who wanted to get them. Um, I, I picked one out and I tried throwing it and I really liked it. Um, so it's beadless and it's a fairly stable disc. Um, this I can actually get to hyzer flip to go straight and it can fade a little right. Um, it's a great upshot disc off the tee um, in a premium plastic. I mean, it's super grippy. Um, and basically by the end of the round that I was practicing with it, I wanted it in the bag. So uh, I'm sure it'll be there for a minute. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be throwing any of the backups if I happen to lose this one, depending on um, how many people want them. I am selling half of the ones that I had to some friends of mine. So um, And a lot of other people seem to really like them and are buying them up. Um, but there are a couple that I'm going to be keeping. They're a little swirlier and very pretty. So I'm just going to keep those as wall hangers. Um, so on to the next one. This was uh, one of the ones that I was the most excited about was the Compass. Um, from what Waisaki had been posting about and a couple of the profile pictures that I was able to see from a couple other people across the seas and uh, Waisaki sent a picture himself to me. Um, it looked uh, really reminiscent of like one of the most uh, hands down best mid ranges out there um, that anybody has thrown. Um, that being the buzz. Um, so, I mean, it's a fairly flat profile. There is kind of a slight dome. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, there is no bead, but it is a little deeper than the buzz. Um, I would say it's probably a little straighter than the buzz. Um, it is a stable disc, but it's not something that is going to be as stable as um, like a harp or a bard or, uh, excuse me, a justice or anything like that. Those are way more stable than what this disc is. I can get it to hyzer flip straight. I can get it to hold an anhyzer without kind of biting into the ground. And I can throw it just on a nice hyzer. It goes straight, has a little fade, and that's literally all it does. It doesn't glide um, probably near as far as a buzz, but I'd say I get maybe 10 to 20 less feet than I would out of a buzz um, from this disc. And I mean, I was throwing this disc about, 
uh, I mean, comfortably, like, 300-ish feet, maybe a little further. Um, anything past that is kind of, I can get it to go further, but I'm lo I lose a little bit of control of what I want it to do. Um, so this disc is definitely going to stay in my bag, I'm sure. Um, so I think it's going to be this and the mace are probably going to be my main two mid-ranges at the moment. Um, so then on to the next one uh, that I was really excited about is the Cutlass. Um, that being numbers wise, it was very close to what a destroyer was supposed to be. Um, numbers, I don't typically like too much, um, just because, uh, discs can vary, uh, shape wise and everything. Um, even depend, like, even if the numbers are the same, the disc, the two discs can fly very differently. One can be much more stable than the other, um, in certain conditions or normal. Uh, weather conditions, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm sure you've experienced it as well, so that's why I don't, I, I kind of go off of numbers, but I don't expect a disc to be the exact as another disc, just because by the numbers it says so. Um, but again, by profile pictures and stuff, it, it looked very destroyer-like. Um, these are a little flat, but there is a slight dome to them. Uh, the nose is pulled up just a little bit, so it does, it feels like a destroyer. It's got a bigger rim. Um, I would like a little more dome personally. Um, I'm not sure if this kind of dome is the norm for them or not. And if it was, I would be completely okay with it. Um, these I would describe as probably a little bit of a glidier destroyer. Um, so, I mean, this is a disc that can go really far. I was throwing it at the park, uh, field testing it a little bit on a little bit of a distant shot. And I mean, I was pretty easily to get them uh, past 450 or so. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that like I, I throw the farthest in the world or anything like that. I do have like a little bit of a distance. Um, so I mean, just throwing those types of shots, I can, I typically like throwing hyzer flips. And this does that very well. I don't have to throw it on an angle down here. It's probably like a little bit of a hyzer at this angle stands up flat, maybe bends a little to the right, and then hyzers out fairly strong, um, but it does glide a long ways. So this disc I'm very excited about. I am going to be ordering probably a small stack of them just to have some backups to, and to see if there's any variance in them, see how consistent the mold is to what this is, or if these are a little flatter than what they're supposed to be, or if this is the norm. Um, but Latitude and all them are very consistent with all their molds, so I'm sure that this is going to be the norm. If I do find a couple domier ones, that's cool. If not, I'm more than happy to be throwing these. Um, then on to the Ballista. Uh, this disc was pretty popular with the Snowline plastic that was released for the Scandinavian Opens. Um, this disc came out a little flatter than I was hoping it was going to be. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's shaped all right, but I can't really get a good angle at it. But it is fairly flat. And this disc is pretty flippy. Um, I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to bag this or not. Um, if I do, it'll probably be for big Anheuser shots to rollers. Uh, this disc I was throwing, and I was throwing it on angles down here, getting it to flip up flat, and then it was riding over pretty hard right. And it was not coming out. Uh, it was just staying flat on the Anheuser and landing flat. Um, I mean, if you give it enough height, it'll flex and come all the way out, but, um, I mean, for those kinds of shots, those are massive distance shots, um, to get it to flip all the way over and then have it sail out with the nose down, but I don't really know how to do those shots, that's kind of how I see it, but, uh, this disc isn't a bad disc but at all, um, like I said, I'll probably be throwing it for rollers and, uh, big anhyzers, those kinds of things, um, I do have another one that is shaped the exact same way. It is fairly flat, and this is very pretty. These are also not mine. These are of my buddy Travis's that I got for him. I ordered them to uh, see how that they f flew and uh, or how they would fly, um, and get a judge on that and see if I wanted to get some or not. I'm probably gonna get a couple um, for myself, but uh, we will see. Um, so, anyways, that's my review. That's my take on it, guys. Um, I know, like, so many people know me, but I just kind of have fun doing the videos here and there, and, um, if I happen to get a couple people to like it or not, I mean, it's whatever. It's kind of a fun thing to do. 
Um, if you guys do like it, leave a comment. Don't like it, leave a comment. Like, all that kind of stuff. Thank you.